there was a surprise eggs factory in Scottsdale. It made exciting surprise eggs for all the kids. And when the eggs were ready, it transported them in a truck. One day, the workers drove the truck through the streets as usual to deliver the eggs to the stores. But when they reached the stores, all the eggs were missing from the truck. The workers told the factory manager about what had happened. And the factory manager grew very worried. Where could the eggs go, he said, then dialed the police. Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chika, and Cha Cha rushed to the factory. Chief Choo Choo looked at the truck and she found that its floorboard had been cut out. The police team then studied the route the truck had taken. And they found that it had stopped at a few traffic lights. Let's keep a watch at this light, Chief Choo Choo said. The police team went to the traffic light. They watched as the truck stopped there. Suddenly, they spotted a blind man walking on the crossroad. Chief Choo Choo realized that he was a thief. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. There was another thief there too. He was stealing the surprise eggs in the truck from a manhole. Chief Choo Choo realized that the thieves were underground. There was a railroad below the ground. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chiku climbed down while the officers Chika and Cha Cha brought two railroad cars. The police team then split up and went after the thieves. It was dark and scary underground, and the thieves had managed to go far ahead. But the Choo Choo TV police kept going after them. The thieves then played a nasty trick and threw logs on the tracks. But Officer Chica took the railroad car over them very skillfully.
The thieves then did something very dangerous. They broke the wall so water would flow out and drench officers Chiku and Chacha. But Officer Chacha turned the car sideways. Both the police cars then caught up with the thieves. And the thieves splashed colored water on the police team. Chief Choo Choo and officers Chiku, Chika, and Cha Cha then found a clever way to stop the thieves and separate their wagon from the thieves' car. All the stolen surprise eggs were saved! And the thieves, too, were brought to a stop. Chief Choo Choo and the officers then arrested the thieves. We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! The holiday season was coming soon and everyone in Scottsdale was very excited. All the mommies and daddies were out buying toys and gifts for their kids. But there was someone who was watching them. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. Later that night, as some of the parents drove home, they heard some strange sounds, and they saw some very creepy ghosts. Eee! The parents screamed with fright and ran out of their car. Once the parents had gone, Gilly, Silly, and Connie ran to the car and stole all the gifts and toys. Some more parents saw the ghosts on the road, and they too ran away from their cars. And Gilly, Silly, and Connie stole their gifts and toys too. All the parents grew worried. We must tell the mayor about this. The mayor of Scottsdale heard the parents out. Don't worry, he then said. The mayor called the Choo Choo TV police. Chief Choo Choo and the others then rushed to the spot where the ghosts had been seen. Troops, Chief Choo Choo said. Let's split up and look around. Officers Chiku and Cha Cha, you go to the left. Officer Chika, you and I will go to the right. So Chief Choo Choo and Officers Chika, Chiku and Cha Cha hid themselves and looked around. They saw Gilly, Silly, and Connie hiding near the road. They had speakers and a machine called a projector. They were playing scary sounds and shining out pictures of ghosts. And that made it look just like there were ghosts floating on the road. Aha, Officer Chica said. So it's Gilly, Silly, Connie, and Johnny who are scaring everyone. They are the greediest thieves in Scottsdale. Chief Choo Choo and the others followed the thieves and saw that they had been stealing the gifts and toys that had been left in their cars. I have an idea, Chief Choo Choo said. Officer Chiku and Cha Cha 
brought out their Halloween costumes. Then they drove to the spot where the thieves were. Gilly, Silly, and Connie then shone out the pictures and played the scary sounds. But to their surprise, no one ran out of the car. Gilly, Silly, and Connie then ran to the car. But when they opened the doors, they got a shock. Officers Chiku and Chacha then rested Gilly. Silly and Connie started to run to the beach. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chica followed them there. But Silly and Connie jumped into a boat and sped away. Chief Choo Choo brought a police boat out. Officers Chiku and Chacha joined the chase on police water scooters. Vroom! Chief Choo Choo and the others then zoomed through the dark icy waters to catch Silly and Connie. Yikes! Silly cried. The Choo Choo TV police are here to catch us! In his rush, Connie went right towards an island that was ahead of the boat. Watch out! Chief Choo Choo called. But it was too late, and Silly and Connie's boat crashed into the island, and Silly and Connie were thrown into the icy cold sea. <laughs> Silly and Connie shivered as Chief Choo Choo and the others came to arrest them. Yeah, woohoo! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! We are the bullies! Christmas was coming. All the kids in Scottsdale were very excited. They were going with their mommies and daddies to the toy stores to choose their gifts. The favorite toy of the season was a set of surprise eggs with some wild animals inside them. Surprise! Nikki and his sister wanted the surprise eggs with the animals too. So they asked their mommy and daddy to buy them as their Christmas presents. But there was someone watching Nikki and his family. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The thieves wanted to steal the kids' toys. And so they followed them to their house to see where they lived. Nikki and his sister couldn't wait to play with their surprise eggs. They took them to their playroom and took them out of the box. Then they blew the whistles that opened the eggs. Yay! Nikki and his sister cheered. These toys are so much fun! Nikki and his sister then washed their hands and ate their supper. Then they went to bed, feeling very excited. When Nikki and his sister woke up the next morning, the first thing they thought about was their new surprise eggs. But when they went to the playroom, they couldn't find the eggs anywhere. Nikki and his sister told their mommy and daddy about the missing surprise eggs. Nikki's daddy then dialed the police. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha rushed to Nikki's house. Nikki's mommy and daddy then told Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha about the missing surprise eggs. Nikki and his sister then gave Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha their whistles. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha 
then joined officers Chiku and Chika at the police headquarters. Officers Chika and Chacha changed out of their police uniforms and wore street clothes. Then they rushed to the toy store. Connie and Gilly were at the toy store, and officers Chacha and Chika spotted them quickly. As the two thieves left the toy store, officers Chika and Chacha followed them out. Officers Chika and Chacha then sat on their bikes and went after Gilly and Connie on the cold and busy streets. It was a chilly day and snow was falling all over, but officers Chika and Chacha didn't stop. They kept following the thieves. After a while, Gilly and Connie stopped their bike in a faraway neighborhood. Officers Chika and Chacha parked their bikes and started following them on foot. Is someone following us? Connie said. Officers Chika and Chacha then hid themselves with a Christmas tree and hopped along the pavement. Gilly and Connie saw the tree moving and got a fright. They then ran all the way to their hideout. Johnny, silly, Gilly and Connie called. There's a tree following us. Officers Chica and Chacha looked into the thieves' hideout. They called Chief Choo Choo. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Chiku joined Officers Chica and Chacha outside the thieves' hideout. They all then went in together. The police team saw Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie making plans to steal more toys from the Scottsdale kids. Chief Choo Choo then blew a whistle. The sound of the whistle opened many of the surprise eggs, and the animals inside them started to roar. Yikes! Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie yelled with fright. Then they started to hide. <laughs> Officer Chiku arrested John, and Chief Choo Choo caught hold of Silly. But Gilly and Connie ran away. As Gilly and Connie were escaping, they saw someone in a red and white suit riding on a sleigh behind them. Yay! It's Santa! Gilly said. The Santa in the sleigh then pressed a button. And lots of gifts flew out of the sleigh's front and fell on Gilly and Connie. And then the gifts knocked Gilly off the bike and right into a trash can. Ho ho ho! The Santa, who was actually Officer Cha Cha, laughed as he arrested Gilly. There was a surprise for Connie too. A hook shot out from the sleigh and stopped him from going further. And there was a gift for him too. <laughs> It was a pair of shiny handcuffs from Officer Cha Cha, who was still disguised as Santa. The Choo Choo TV police had found the stolen toys and caught the thieves. Christmas was going to be merry once again. There was a factory in Scottsdale that made surprise eggs. All the surprise eggs were filled with the kids' favorite toys and candies. All the workers 
worked very hard to make the eggs. When the eggs were ready, a machine would wrap them up nicely and tie a ribbon around them. A factory worker would then store the eggs in a storeroom and another worker would count them. But one morning, when the workers came to the storeroom, they found all the eggs missing. They immediately sounded the alarm. All the workers then rushed to meet the manager. The manager grew very worried about the eggs, and so he called the Choo Choo TV police. Officers Chiku, Chica, and Chacha rushed to the factory. They spoke to all the security guards. They also looked around the storeroom. Chief Choo Choo spotted a security camera. The police team then watched the videos it had captured. The videos showed some thieves sneaking into the factory when the guards had dozed off. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The thieves had entered the storeroom. They had taken the eggs away in a truck. The police team met the manager. They then came up with a secret plan to catch the thieves. Chief Choo Choo hid in a giant surprise egg. Officers Chica, Chiku, and Chacha hid in some other ones. The factory worker then kept all the giant eggs in the storeroom. That night, the thieves sneaked into the factory once again. They went into the storeroom and saw the giant surprise eggs. The thieves, whose names were Gilly and Connie, then took all the giant eggs away. Gilly and Connie took the eggs to their hideout. They showed them to their friends. All the thieves then took the giant eggs out of the truck. Suddenly, the eggs started to move and shake. The thieves got a fright and hid themselves. And then Chief Choo Choo and the officers jumped out of the eggs. All the thieves panicked and ran. Officer Chica and Chief Choo Choo leapt and caught Connie and Gilly. The other thieves threatened Officers Chiku and Cha Cha. But then another surprise egg opened up. Inside was Detective Snarl, the police dog. 
all the thieves had been caught. Thanks to the Choo Choo TV police. We are the bullies. We are the bullies. We are the bullies. We are the bullies. There were some farms near Scottsdale. Young shepherds lived there with their sheep. Their names were Mary and Mark, and they took very good care of their sheep. When the sun set and it was time to go home, Mary and Mark would count the sheep to make sure that no one was missing. They would then leave the sheep in the pen and go home. One morning, Mary and Mark went to the pen as usual. Mark began to count the sheep as he let them out. But as he counted, he noticed that two sheep were missing. Mark called Mary and told her about the missing sheep. The two kids then went to see if the sheep had wandered off to their neighbor Sam's farm. Sam counted the sheep in his pen to see if there were any extra ones. But as he counted, he realized that two of his sheep were missing too. Sam then asked his neighbor, Ben, to count the sheep on his farm. But as Ben counted, he found that some of his sheep were also missing. <coughs> Mary, Mark, Sam, and Ben grew very worried. They ran all over the hills and meadows, looking for their sheep. But the young shepherds just couldn't find the sheep anywhere. Mary, Mark, Sam, and Ben waited all day, hoping that their sheep would show up. But there was no sign of them, even when the sun set and it was time to go home. Mary and Mark were so sad that night that they just couldn't sleep. And so they waited by the sheep pen. Suddenly, the sheep in the pen grew very frightened. And then Mary and Mark saw two long tails that were orange and black. Tigers! There are tigers in our pen! <laughs> Mary cried. They are attacking our sheep! Mary and Mark then ran home and told their daddies about what they had seen. The next morning, everyone went to the pen. They noticed that more sheep were missing. The two daddies then called the Choo Choo TV police. Chuchu and officers Chiku, Chica, and Chacha rushed to Mary and Mark's farm. <laughs> then
Then they went to the sheep pen to investigate. The police team examined the fences. They found that all the fences were very sturdy. Chief Choo Choo then came up with a secret plan. Later that night, Chief Choo Choo and the others returned with someone else. It was Detective Snarl, the police dog. The police team then went to the sheep pen to keep watch. Suddenly, everyone saw some men in tiger costumes enter the pen. Detective Snarl leaped into the pen. He barked at the men ferociously. The men were actually thieves. And Chief Choo Choo recognized them immediately. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. The three thieves began to run. And so the police team ran after them. Soon Chief Choo Choo and the officers found a river in front of them. They grabbed vines and swung across. While Detective Snarl hopped on the rocks, the police team found the thieves' hideout. They saw the missing sheep there. The thieves were putting them in a truck. Chief Choo Choo blew her whistle. The thieves were startled. The three thieves then climbed onto their horses and galloped away. The police team went after them, but since the thieves were on horseback, they managed to get away. Chief Choo Choo then blew her whistle again and someone appeared in the sky. It was Detective Sharp Eyes, the police eagle. Chief Choo Choo told Detective Sharp Eyes about the thieves and asked for his help. At once, Detective Sharp Eyes flapped his wings and flew back to the sky to look for Gilly, Silly, and Connie. The three thieves had managed to get quite far ahead. They stopped at a secret spot in the forest, thinking no one would find them. But Detective Sharp Eyes scanned the entire forest and found Gilly, Silly, and Connie. Detective Sharp Eyes then flew back to inform Chief Choo Choo where the thieves were. Chief Choo Choo then planned what to do. Gilly, Silly, and Connie suddenly heard some strange sounds. They jumped onto their horses, but some ferocious looking lions appeared and roared loudly. And then to the thieves' surprise, the lions took their masks off. The Choo Choo TV police then took the sheep back to the farms. All the young shepherds were very happy. Thank you, Choo Choo TV police, said all the shepherds, as Detective Snarl kept a watch on the thieves. <gasps> <laughs> Oh!
breaking news. The super hens are in the city. The super hens lay lots of surprise eggs, which are full of sweets, treats, and gifts for kids. People from across the city are rushing in to see the super hens. If your kid loves surprise eggs, you better get moving. Some super hens were visiting Scottsdale. They were laying surprise eggs that were full of gifts and treats. All the kids wanted to see the hens. So they went with their parents to the park where the hens had been put up. All the kids were delighted to see the super hens. They had fun watching them and feeding them. The kids even got the chance to choose their own surprise eggs. Open! 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 Surprise! <laughs> the super hens were very special. And so some thieves who were lurking around decided to steal them. It was a gang of four thieves. Gilly, Silly, Johnny, and Connie. They have always troubled the people of Scottsdale. <laughs> the next morning when the security guard unlocked the room, he found all the super hens missing. The guard called the Choo Choo TV police. Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha rushed to the park in the Power Mobile and the Power Cruiser. They went to see the Super Hen's room. Chief Choo Choo saw the hen's feathers and had an idea. Chief Choo Choo then sent out a drone that flew all over the surrounding areas. The drone had a camera that sent pictures to Chief Choo Choo. Chief Choo Choo spotted the super hen's feathers in a forest that was nearby. Chief Choo Choo then called officers Chiku and Chika to join the search. The police team then rushed to the forest. Officers Chika and Chiku stopped and looked around for clues. Suddenly, they heard the hens clucking. Officers Chiku and Chika found that the sound was coming from underground. They called Toolmaster Cusley to help. Toolmaster Cusley came in man-at-arms, the super tool truck and dug up the ground. Officers Chiku and Chika saw a secret door. They jumped right in and opened the door. The door led to a bunker. And the officers saw the thieves there with the super hens. In the meantime, Chief Choo Choo and Officer Cha Cha found another entrance to the bunker. It was covered with a huge rock. The rock was too heavy to move. So Officer Cha Cha fired an iron ball from the power cruiser and shattered it. Gilly, Silly, Johnny and Connie were shocked to see the Choo Choo TV police. Gilly and Connie started to run out of the bunker. So Officer Cha Cha went after them. Officer Cha Cha quickly found Gilly and Connie. He also fired web traps and got a hold of Gilly. 
Officer Chacha then chased Connie. But Connie was a fast runner. And just when Connie thought he could escape, Officer Chacha led him to a swamp. The Choo Choo TV police had caught all the thieves. The police team then took the super hens back to the park. We are the bullies! We are 